Yeah, Billy Nitro, your internet knife guru. Here we are, guys, back with another episode, The Walk and Talk, episode 100. Yeah, guys, we finally did it. We finally hit 100. <laughs> there for a while, I didn't think we was going to make it to 100, but we made it. Now we're, we're we've hit 100, and now we're going. We're working on 200. <laughs> so here we are, guys. I guess you've seen the title. You know what we got coming up here. Got some 77s. Oh yeah. But a uh, little bummer is I was supposed to have three 77s, but uh, one of them got sent back by the United States Postal Service. Don't know what the deal is with it. It's supposed to be on its way here should be here any day I think but it's not here and we're doing this video I'm tired of waiting and I haven't seen this one I've just got it out of the box to save a little time sounds like it's got a thing what, 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 what's a thing yeah uh, a pin maybe I guess that's what it is I haven't looked at it so I don't know episode 100 so let's get to it hope everyone has been doing well I gotta get these videos knocked out and get these knives, or, yeah, knives on their way. I still have the Chris Reeve. I'll be in Colorado next week. This old hillbilly is getting out of Tennessee for a week. And gonna be up in the Rocky Mountains somewhere. So that's a little different. <laughs> out of my character, I would say. There's another one. I think we have two different uh, handle scales here. At least I'm hoping we do. Should be. So let's get to it. That's why I'm not really too bummed on the third one because it was going to be a double. So no big deal there. Anyways, let's open this up. We'll open this one up first since it sounds like it's got something to it. I don't know. And don't sound like it's got anything in it. But this one sure it's got something in it. Maybe they sent us a quarter or something. I don't know. Oh, Mike Latham had collector knives. So, here we are. You've seen the cap. Natural linen. Let's see. What, what is this one? I didn't even look. Yep. Amber saw cut. Oh, man. Yeah, we're going to save that one. There it is. Yankee Barlow. Is that sweet or what? So we showing, showing. Y'all know the Wayne's World. Oh, there's a little moisture pack there. Do not eat, kids. Do not eat. Let's take a look at her. Oh man, look at that! Look at that! That is natural linens. Kind of got a mustardy look to it. That's pretty sweet. Look at that. Let's take a look around her, guys. We'll get to that one right there. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Very nice. Oh. Centering's on the money. Look at that. On the money, honey. Wow. That's sweet. Very nice. Now there's one little thing that I've seen some pictures of that I'm kind of bummed at. I, I'm not. I'm sure. Not really sure my feelings on this. Maybe you guys can weigh in. I don't know. I haven't been in the knife on Facebook and seeing what much has been said about it. But let's do the pull first. And kind of light. You know, I like them kind of light, but that's about a six. Yeah, that's a six. Nice and crisp though. But did you see that? Did you see it? I think you've seen it. Right there. I'm not sure how I feel about these modern letters. I know it's the CK logo and Collector Knives logo. I'm not sure how I feel about that on a traditional knife like this, this traditional style here. I could see this on a line still, but I don't know. I'm kind of torn on this. Maybe you guys, I don't know, maybe you guys like it. I think I would have kind of went with maybe an old school script font or something. 
I don't know. I know it's a logo. I know it's trademarked. Whew. I don't know how I feel about that. I just got to be honest with you guys. Anyways, that's a number six pull on that. Nice and light. And she's crisp. Feels sharp, too. Just about cut my thumb, but I didn't. Okay, baby. Okay, here we go. You know what this is. <laughs> Amber saw cut. I love me some saw cut. Oh, and I love some pick bone too. But anyways, that's beside the point. Uh, oh, up, oh, up! Oh, look at this. Look at it. Look at that. Two different knives come in two different boxes. These do not come with every knife. We nailed it. We nailed it. <laughs> That's pretty sweet. Let's see what we got going on here, guys. Amber saw cut. You ready? I'm ready. <laughs> oh, is that beautiful or what? Look at that. Look at that character. That is so sweet. Look at it. It's got some green to it. That is one little sweet baby right there. I know this camera has to be picking that up. I can't see you real good because it's bright out here. Let's look at the other side. Look at that. What a beauty. That is sweet. Man, and she's slick too. Slick as a baby's butt. Let's take a look around her here. Very nice, nice and beautiful and new. Look at that. Nickel silver liners. I'm kind of torn if that had brass on it. I don't know. That brass and that saw cut amber bone would bling pretty good, but the silver, I'm a sucker for silver too. Very nice. Let's check that pool. And kind of light. It's about a six and a half, too. They're about equal. Nice and slick. Just no, no rubbing, no tightness at all on that joint. Just as smooth. Let's check that centering on this one. On the money. Man, look at that. Look at that saw cut. Man, these are beautiful. We got some pins. Let's check the weight on them. Guys, I don't know if we've... We, I'm kind of short on time here on this card I've got here, and I've measured 100 of these 77s, and I'm sure they're all the same. And we're on 72.9 on grams. This will not switch over to ounces again. So do they find your conversion table on Google. Um, let's check the difference in the micarta. And 69, a little lighter. Yeah, it's bone and this is micarta, so it's a little lighter here, 69.2. Again on the, oh, it's minus three on there, negative three. 72.9, 69.4, and these scales, they're about on their last leg. I'll give you the overall on it just for the, just for good, what's good for the goose is good for the gander. We're right at six and a half overall. So, and as you can see there, you can do the math there. Three and a half, closed. Just over three and a half closed. I'll go ahead and measure it. Two and a half, uh, no, two and three quarter or something. Just about two and three quarter on cutting cutting edge. So yeah, we done the measurements. Hell with it. What do you think, guys? Which one would you choose? Are you a Micarta fan or a saw cut? 
I'm going with that saw cut all day long. Very sweet. We're going to take one more look around here real quick, and I've got to close this video because it's about to shut off. Very nice. Well, guys, I thank you guys for stopping by and hanging out with me on this little unboxing overview. Thank you guys for tuning in, and we'll catch you on the next one, guys. Hey, Billy, over and out of here. That's a winner. See you guys. Peace.